very warm welcome to the Total Power Stadium at Holm Park in Sheppey. This is the Kent Football Association, the Merit Under-15 Boys Cup Final. It's Cray Wanderers against Bromley. Leading out the two sets of players are today's match officials, the referee Ashley Roddy, assisted by Alan Widnall and Ian Day. Keith Crisp is the fourth official. The Cray Wanderers in the amber and black. It's the white shirts of Bromley. Cray Wanderers managed by Steve Owens. The coaching staff of Steve Redmond and Bob Hards. Goalkeeping coach Steve Haynes and their captain is Kaya Mehmet. Bromley are managed by Mick Pay, who is assisted by Dave Evans, coach Rosie Pay, physio Beverly Pay, and the captain Charles Pay. Good burst forward from Harry Clout. He'll just go alone here. It's Harry Clout. Wrong side of the post by a matter of inches. So close. Still able to keep the ball there, Marshall Tuller. This is McQueen sizing up uh, an effort on goal. It bounces up in front of the goalkeeper and it's pushed away by Carter Sullivan. Great ball through the middle by ODS towards Clout. And then the shot from the left hand side from Ryan Jameson, saved by the goalkeeper. So Clout again in the thick of the action. It will come back here for Oliver Driscoll, lifts it into the penalty area, over the goalkeeper and in. What a fabulous goal that is from Oliver Driscoll. An unlikely source for an opening goal for Bromley from the fullback, who scores from a long way out with a lofted ball over the goalkeeper and into the far corner. Sensational strike. Not clearing the lines, but only as far as McQuay. This time it's Toller, hammers it. Sting in the palms of goalkeeper Carter Sullivan. Oliver Driscoll. Has he gone for goal again? Oh, he has! It's dropped in! It's two for Oliver Driscoll and two for Bromley. And that one bent away into the far top corner. He couldn't have hit it any better. And it's Cray Wanderers nil, Bromley two. And it's two goals for Oliver Driscoll. goal here thumped and it was thumped too from Harry Clout another free kick another goal for Bromley they've got an unassailable three goal cushion now Harry Clout right on the line when he drove that and he hit it ferociously nothing the defender or the goalkeeper on the line could do to stop it Try and find something somewhere. I heard it. Shot was from Oliver Perkins. Saved by Carter Sullivan. Clouts. It's a good ball out wide to Jameson. That's an excellent cross and a tap in for Ben Mills to make it 4 0. Incisive football from Bromley. And the simple tap in was courtesy of an excellent cross from the left hand side from Ryan Jameson. Across the six yard box. And all Ben Mills had to do was walk it home. And it's 4-0 now. And surely there's no way back for Cray Wanderers. Cray looking to at least get on the score sheet. It's been headed away. And Abara Timmy. Needs to be helped over the top of the crossbar. It's another three kick. And it's another goal. And this time it's Ryan Jamieson that picks his spot with a low drive through the, the gap and into the far corner. And it's Cray Wanderers nil, Bromley five, three goals from free kicks. And this time it's the left foot of Ryan Jamieson that does the damage. <laughs> he's had a look at his watch and he blows his final whistle. It's finished Cray Wanderers nil. 
Bromley 5. Two goals for the fullback. Oliver Driscoll got things going. Harry Clout, Ben Mills, and Ryan Jamieson all chipped in with goals. And it's Ben Mills that's been named player of the match. Up come Cray Wanderers for their runners up medals. You can feel a little bit hard done by that they've been beaten 5 0. They certainly had their moments in the game, especially in the first half when they did fashion a few chances. They certainly kept Carter Sullivan in the Bromley goal busy at times. But they were undone by some quality from Bromley in the end. Bromley come up to collect their winners' medals, led by Carter Sullivan, the goalkeeper. They beat Kings Hill 9 0 in round one. In round two, they beat Bromley Onions by 11 goals to one. In the quarter finals, it was eight that they scored against Erith and Belvedere, whilst they saw off Ebbsfleet United in the semi finals by three goals to one. They've been banging in the goals and they've hit another five today in the final. A convincing victory to ensure that they get their hands on the cup. Last up is Charles Pay, who is the captain. And he gets his hands on the trophy. It's congratulations to Bromley. They've won the Kent FA Merit Under-15 Boys Cup for 2021-2022 season.